DOE just announced an organizational realignment to ensure that the department has the structure needed to effectively spend the $62 billion provided in the bipartisan infrastructure law and the Energy Act of 2020. Uh, last year, you were sworn in as Under Secretary of Science and Energy, and uh, after the reorganization, you will be Under Secretary for Science and Innovation. Talk to me about how your newly defined role fits into the administration's larger strategy to meet the target of achieving net zero no later than 2050. Great. Thank you, Senator, for that question. Um, uh, and if you want to opine about heat pumps, you can do that, too. <laughs> Yes, actually, we have one at home. Thank you very much. Uh, um, so uh, when I came on board uh, and got started in the position, uh, I learned of this reorganization. And I, uh, and so the person that, uh, that held my uh, position temporarily, uh, Kathleen Hogan, uh, is now the person that's, that's sitting in the position of taking over the, the bill. She and I, we talk about being connected at the hip. Um, we have been working very, very closely to make sure that, that um, because she had been working a lot in the applied science area, not so much in the basic science area, um, and now she's moved over into that role. And we both believe that in order for us to succeed, that we must be working closely. So, for example, briefings that she has, uh, biweekly briefings that she has with her different units I sit in on. She sits in on briefings that happen uh, in my space. And we work together to make sure that the transition from the very fundamental work is being passed all the way through. That said, uh, you can't just pass the knowledge and expect it to be launched into the deployment area without some problems, because you discover problems that then have to come all the way back. So if we don't keep this string of information flow going back and forth, it's not going to work. And so what's, what's, what's good about the position that we're in now is I can oversee uh, the unit of the fundamental and applied while then working with her on the, uh, in the deployment area. And so we have programs that stretch all the way across uh, that we all keep an eye on, as well as those that go all the way, pretty, our earth shots would pretty much go up to the deployment. Uh, and so um, it's, it's actually well coordinated also because some of the people that were working in the applied space are now in the deployment space. So they're heavily connected with the people in that uh, area also. I think it's just been really brilliant the way that was designed, and I can't take credit for that um, because I came into it. I think it's a really good plan. I do think it's important for us to sort of bake that continuity into the organization of the agency over time because historically we, uh, we've, we've always had the focus on basic R&D um, but applied science, and in particular, you know, if, if we don't commercialize these technologies, we're really not doing right. our, uh, our economy uh, any favors. Right. And so having that continuity all the way through the process and having the kind of approach that we've seen from this administration, even in the DOE loan office, to deploy, 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 that's where our, you know, our constituents see the, uh, feel the jobs of the future when, when things get deployed in their own communities and there's new hope and new jobs. So um, whatever you can do to bake that in uh, to the agency over time and really show the, the successes that are capable there, uh -huh. uh, I think it will serve not only DOE but the, uh, the country in the long term. That's the hope. That's the plan. And you know what's really cool about the national labs? is that some of those in the more applied areas have been going towards deployment anyway. And so it really, by, by um, I would say, cementing that into the, the framework of the labs in addition to um, the Department of Energy with the deployment is, is we got to do it. We just got to do it. Thank you.